Hey Top 10 Countdown fans, welcome to Watch Daily Most Amazing Top 10 Mojo.com, where today we're counting down our top picks for the 10 biggest chance in gaming. Before we get into this kooky epic countdown, did you know that all of you are actually subscribed to the channel? Except for you, Paul, so if you're watching this man, can you, uh, can you sub to the channel? You're literally the, the only one. one. So make sure to slam that subscribe button and smash that bell to be notified when we upload more awesome top 10 videos. Sometimes we get really wild and throw in a top 5. Number 10, Wario from the Wario games. Arguably Nintendo's biggest heartthrob, Wario has everything a lady could ask for. A great body, perfect facial hair and a fuck ton of money. I mean Wario is stupid rich. He's a businessman. His life revolves around straight cash. I mean, his first appearance was literally in Super Mario Land 2, six gold coins. There's a good reason he's in the very heavy category on Mario Kart. It's the mass of that fat wallet. He helps you make your own games. Is there anything that this man can't do? Not to mention, Wario is literally the anti-Mario. What a bad boy. In fact, the word Waru in Japanese literally translates to bad. Fuck me now. Number 9. The protagonist of the highly popular block building game Minecraft, Steve. An unrivaled hard nut standing at just over 6 feet tall with a chiseled jawline. This brute of a man can break stone with his bare hands or take down a tree with just his fists alone. Not to mention, he is more than capable of murdering the undead with a singular wooden blade or literally destroying a dragon from another dimension. In fact, Personally, I feel they missed an opportunity to just call Steve Chad. At a push, the only contender that even comes close to Steve in the Minecraft universe is the Iron Golem. I'm out. I will never play that again. Bye. I will never play Minecraft again. Number eight. This guy from the Resident Evil 2 remake. If you're wondering why he has no name, it's because I literally didn't even get past this part of the game to find out what his name was. Frankly, I don't care what his name is. Bullets don't kill him, grenades don't kill him, and he fucks your shit up. Not to mention, he just follows you around the map menacingly. Chad award to you, sir. In fact, Resident Evil is full of bastards that are stupidly hard to kill. The zombies alone are just bastards. Can we just put the entire franchise on here? Fuck it. Number eight is Resident Evil. The entire Resident Evil franchise. Number seven, Kratos from the God of War series. I mean, this one is a no-brainer, really. He's built like a brick shit house. He doesn't miss a day in the gym. He has a rocking beard, tattoos, and an axe that comes back to him with the power of magic. Not to mention, he is a literal god. It's in the title of the game. He's not a bad dad either. Number six. Now I will admit this entry is very similar, if not almost identical to Kratos in every way possible. The bus driver from Transit. Why is he a Chad you ask? Well he drives a bus, he's a robot, and if you knife him enough times, he just throws you off the bus. Not to mention, he survived several Nazi zombie apocalypses, various military missions, cured world hunger, spoke at the UN, and won a Nobel Peace Prize. All of which, whilst controlling public transport and being an active member of his local community. Oh, and he has a cool hat. Number five, the Cantina Barman from Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Besides being from one of the greatest games ever made, there's three main things that this chap has covered. He's made of Lego, he's completely invincible, and he's rich as fuck. I mean, absolutely minted. 1.2 million studs for Yoda's ghost alone, plus all the other characters. And all of that is going straight into this man's pocket. And as we all know, with the stud market at an all-time high right now, this bloke really is loaded, hitting the number one spot on the Forbes top riches list. He gives Wario a run for his money. Literally. Plus he's kind of handsome. Number four, Michael Jackson from Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, where you played as Michael Jackson. <laughs> having to manoeuvre the King of Pop through various floors of a house, defeating enemies with his iconic dance moves as an 8-bit copy of Smooth Criminal played in the background. And the overall goal of the game was to rescue small children that then shoot away on a laser beam. But if you don't think Michael's undefeatable magic combat dance moves and laser beam child rescue is enough to land him on this list, we can't forget the scene from the movie this game is based off of the same title, where Michael is held at gunpoint by a gang run by Joe Pesci. Don't make a fuck out of me. And then turns into a huge metal robot, shapeshifts into a rocket ship and flies into space. 
And if the king of pop turning into a mech spaceship hybrid right in front of your eyes still doesn't convince you, tell me more of a Chad move than being the main character in a game where your name is in the title about you based off a movie that you starred in about you. <laughs> Number three, Stuart Little from Stuart Little 3 Big Photo Adventure. We've already had one pretty huge pop star on this list, but how about one that's even bigger? Arguably one of the most iconic video game characters of all time. Actually, there is no argument. It's fact. Number two, Crazy Frog. He rose to stardom when he pulled in 2.5 billion views on the absolute bop of the early 2000s. Frog's magnum opus is his role in the hit game Crazy Frog Racer on the PS2, offering a multiplex of insanely in-depth gameplay options. Players race as the Crazy Frog an animated character, with the main character of the game being, you guessed it, Michael Jackson. No, I'm just kidding, it's Crazy Frog. You manoeuvre the racing legend around a variety of tracks on his iconic invisible motorcycle, trying to land that coveted first position. And I guess audiences must have liked the game, because just a year later, they released a sequel, Crazy Frog Racer 2. True royalty in the automobile race scene, and for the first time in his life, this amphibian lands himself in second place. And finally, in the number one position, and our top pick for the biggest chad in the gaming industry, Matt from Wii Sports, the undisputed king of boxing, known for his fighting prowess, he is a legend in the ring. His iconic quote, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, ringing through the ears of his opponents as he virtually decapitates them with his singular right hook. Standing strong at pro rank with a skill level of over 1,500, he can battle in both orthodox and southpaw stance with ease. Boxing isn't his only strength though, he's also an extremely well-versed swordsman and an unstoppable athlete, true force to be reckoned with and more than deserving of this number one spot on the list. So there we go, Watch Daily Most Amazing Top 10 Mojo.com fans. Those are our awesome epic picks for the top 10 chads in gaming. Do you agree with our picks? And who the fuck else would you add to this crazy tubular countdown? Who did we miss? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to check out one of our other 4,000 countdown videos. And with all of that said, goodbye.